So Samsung has an in-display fingerprint sensor in the Galaxy S10, but so does Huawei and of course OnePlus with the 60. Now this video is all about finding out who has the best under-display fingerprint sensor. So it's time for us to thumb it up. So the Galaxy S10 Plus has an ultrasonic under-display fingerprint sensor. It's made by Qualcomm. It works in conjunction with the 855 processor. And this is something that's really unique. Now, this sensor basically can map out more in terms of detail in your fingerprint, should work when your hands are wet, oily, or dusty, and should be more reliable. So that's why we are going to test it out. We've got optical sensors in the Mate 20 Pro and of course in the OnePlus 6D. And we've known how they've been, how they've actually worked over at least the past six months, if you will. So let's jump in and see how the Galaxy S10 Plus uh, 3D sensor from Qualcomm fares. So the very first test is all about unlocking the display with the screen off. That is the OnePlus 6D. And you can see with the screen off, that doesn't work. With the Galaxy S10 in the middle, you can unlock directly. And uh, if we go to the Mate 20 Pro, we just have to make sure that the screen is completely off and we know where the fingerprint location is. Let's try it again. Waiting, waiting, waiting. Go ahead. Boom, we can unlock it. So with the screen off, both the Galaxy and the Mate 20 work. Now, this is all about speed. Uh, you can see here the OnePlus 60 is really fast and responsive. I can go ahead and tap it. I'm going to do it three times and you can see how fast and responsive that was. Now, moving over to the Galaxy S10 Plus, tap to make sure the screen is on, tap, unlocked. Make sure we just go back to the home screen, try it again for a second time, tap again, unlock, tap, unlock. So it's fast. It doesn't seem as fast as the OnePlus 6D. I think that's just the animation, but it unlocks pretty fast there. And then we move over to the Mate 20 Pro. We go ahead and unlock this. Boom. Boom. There we have that. Tap again. Try to unlock. Boom. Again, the Mate 20 Pro is a little slower. Uh, that's what I've noticed with the Mate 20 Pro in terms of using the fingerprint sensor. Uh, but we, we run to some of these issues where you do have to press a little bit longer to unlock the device. Now, this is the test you guys have been waiting for. Of course, if your hands are wet, how does it work? So we start off with the Mate 20 Pro here this time. Wet hands, we try, press the first time, no lock. Second time again, no lock. Third time, no lock. Now it's telling us to use our uh, pin number. Now with the S10 Plus, wet hands, fingerprint, press, unlock. Boom, there you go. I'm going to go ahead and press it again. It unlocks. I'm going to get some more water and then press it. It unlocks. So it unlocks. You got to press it a little bit more, but not so much, uh, just so that it recognizes it through the water. You can see one on the screen. Now the OnePlus 6D. Water, press. No, no, no dice. Let's try it again. Water, nope, no dice. No dice. Now it's actually locked. So it doesn't work. Now you clearly see that the ultrasonic fingerprint sensor works really well in conditions where your hands are wet. I'm gonna pour some water on the screen. This doesn't make any sense. It's not something you should do, but if you're taking a swim or something spills on your device like this, for instance, there's lots of water on the device right now. And uh, boom, it still, it should work. It should try it again. Yeah, there it goes. All right, those were some impressive results. When we went for just a pure speed test to see how it, it all did, the OnePlus 60 was a little bit faster. I think the Galaxy S10 Plus animation is slower, but I think it's just as fast. That's just, of course, my take. I felt the animation was a little bit slow. And of course, the Mate 20 Pro was on the end there. So that was interesting. But when it came to, of course, wet conditions, man, the S10 Plus, man, with water on the screen, didn't matter, it works. So when you go swimming, or if you have wet hands, you have no problem using this fingerprint sensor. But before I even end this, where we would say, well, the S10 Pro with the under display fingerprint sensor actually works really, really well. Wait, 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 I've got one more test for you guys to check out. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm -hmm. yes. I heard Samsung has a new, uh, fingerprint sensor for the Galaxy S10. So when I finish using my chicken, I'm gonna test it out. Mmm, <coughs> very spicy. Mm. 
Okay, so let's start our chicken wing test. And uh, we get the uh, Mate 20 Pro. Try our finger. Hmm, cannot even unlock. Then we move on to the uh, HES 10. HES 10, can you do it? Can you do it? Ah, yes. HES 10 unlocks. OnePlus 60. Hmm. Maybe because I've not used Thunder Purple, but OnePlus 60 does not work. So let's uh, get final confirmation if we can use chicken wing fingers on the S10 Plus. Press it. Ah, it's unlocked. So with the S10 Plus is the chicken wing finger phone. Yeah, just remember that. All right, <coughs> Colonel Singala had to jump in on this and use his greasy chicken fingers to check out the Galaxy S10 Plus. And yes, it seems like in this case, with oily fingers, it will work. Now, if it's too oily, it definitely won't work. I've tried that. If it's slightly oily, it will work. The other two devices, the OnePlus 60 and the Mate 20 Pro, it doesn't. So it shows the versatility of an ultrasonic fingerprint sensor. Again, guys, this is not a scientific test. This is just me at home showing you what this thing can actually do so when you get these devices you can go ahead and try it out yourself but if you have any questions or any comments about the results here uh, with uh, the under display fingerprint sensor let me know i think the galaxy s10 plus sensor works really well i want to see them improve the animation when, on just unlocking but i think it's smooth and it's pretty fast um, and also works in very very interesting conditions when you're using uh, chicken wings of course so there you have it guys any questions any comments let me know if you're watching us for the first time go ahead and hit the subscribe button and also the notification icon to get notified about our latest videos we've got more videos like this on the channel so definitely check it out uh hopefully you enjoy this and i want to say thank you and always enjoy your entertainment